Okay, so now that my form has been laid out and created in Microsoft Word, I need to actually open Adobe Acrobat Pro DC, sign in, and convert this to a form. So this is called Permission Slip Form, and I have it saved on my desktop, and I just need to be able to access it when I open Acrobat. So I can tell I'm in Acrobat Pro because I had to sign in when I first opened it. If you have a sign in button up here, or it looks like you're already logged in, then you know you have Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. As an MCC employee, we all have site-wide, we have a site-wide license to Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. So you just have to contact the IT department to make sure that you have it installed on your computer. So to convert your Word document to a form, we're gonna go up to the menu and choose create, and then choose create form. This is where it's gonna ask you to select your file, and I can choose that permission slip form. Just know you can also scan it from a document and start from a blank page because you can build the form all in Adobe Acrobat, but it's just a little bit clunkier because you have to sw switch between two editing modes. So it's just sometimes easier to lay it out in Word, but whatever you wanna do, it all those options will work. Okay, so this video is the second version of this I've done because I already went through like five or six videos showing you how to do all the fields. And then it came to the signature section and it turns out that if you check this document requires signatures, then it kind of dumbs down the document and doesn't give you all the features that you might need. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like in this converted version of the form, but just know that the video is following this if you're not seeing some of the options in the properties fields, which I'll show you, um, it's just because that's the old videos that I didn't know of before I found out this little quirk. So don't check this document requires signatures at all. We can still add signatures, whether it's a wet signature area or even where they can type it in or write it or write it in digitally. So, but just don't check this. You want to make sure auto detect form is on and then click create form. It's going to open it up in the original um, program, even though it doesn't open Word on my computer for me to see. And it's going through that conversion process. And what it's doing is it's looking at all of those shapes and text boxes and trying to decide what types of fields I wanted in this form. So as you can see, it did a pretty good job. We have fields all through here. These are check boxes and we missed one. This doesn't have a radio button and this drop down menu, which, which you'll find out in a later video, is acting just like a normal text box, not like a drop down field or a drop down list. That is okay because we can always add text fields here. We can delete this and put a drop down list. We can add our own radio buttons here. So all is not lost if it didn't convert everything properly. So when I converted this now, before in the a previous video when I didn't know about that signature thing, it actually now randomly puts this parent signature like a digital ID. And that's the more complicated version of a signature because it has it's password protected, it's more secure, it's encrypted, etc. So that's interesting to me that it added the more complex type of signature. But what I want to show you is that in future videos, you're going to see me double click on a field and I'm going to go through some of these properties, but it kind of ends here. It only gives you these four options, but you also will have, um, if you do this correctly without checking that signatures box, you can do things like add an action, like on mouse up, something happens, like you can email somebody, you can print somebody, etc. cetera. Um, you can go over here to format. So you can format a field in a certain way. You can actually do validation. So you can validate um, like a date range, etc. And you can also calculate. So if you had a form where you're trying to have things add up for people, this is where you're gonna come. So just so you know, this is a basic uh, like forms video. I'm not going to go into calculation and validation because that includes a, a lot of stuff that I would have to really like research. So if you, those are things that you need to do, try to take a crack at them, use Google, let me know if you need some help and I'll try to come figure it out with you. But again, all of these four 
options are not available in the or are not shown in the videos that you're going to see but usually you don't need those because they're a more advanced field but at least you have them in your form if you export it or convert it correctly which I did not the first time so I'm going to just close this and we're going to move on to the next video where we talk about basic text fields.